Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. So, yeah, we're going to start up the whole tower before it gets a reset right now. Just because, you know, got to get some more rewards out of it. Plus, as you guys can, like, saw, my team is coming along quite, quite decently. Is there even a point in bringing in Chroma at this point? That's the real question. I should definitely work on you. But the thing is, this is going to save us from getting one-shotted, though. <laughs> That's the funny part. That is going to save us from getting one-shotted. That I am majorly doubting. But it will let us kill a lot faster instead of like the enemies still being up. But the fun part is the enemies still revive after a while if you don't kill the boss. <sighs> so we still got to deal with that. And also, Tower was one of the songs I got copyrighted for back then, too. So, that was annoying. It's kind of sad, because Tower... Oh, I don't care. Never mind, I guess we're one-shotting then. But yeah, it's kind of sad, because... Tower's song was one of my favorite songs in the game, though. For sure. And it's was my favorite. But it seems like we could make it pretty far as long as reflection damage doesn't kill us that's that's gonna be fun dealing with wait who's one-shotting that's who I that's what I want to know who the hell is one-shotting out here But it looks like the 50% is definitely going to make like a huge, huge difference. And I hope when they reset the tower that they put in like way better rewards. It There needs to be like some reward upgrades. But then again, everything I have, well mostly everything I have are ultimate. Dude, Bl Blizz, calm down, dude. You don't need that many buffs. Like, geez, sir. <laughs> Blizz over here just applying buff after buff. Ah, I should have left the buff, like, setting on, though. Just so I can see how much it has stacked. Too bad I can't change it in here. But, yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be the only video I upload today. Just because I... I majorly overslept. <laughs> I slept from like, well, I had like my tooth acting up, so I couldn't like sleep well. So I think I ended up going to sleep around like either seven or eight, and woke up around like one. Well, it just got to two right now as soon as I started recording, but yeah. So yeah, toothache stayed up for both of the night, and then randomly fell asleep from that point. Blizz, do I have to take you out of the party, sir? Jeez. But there's a reason why I brought, uh... What's his name? Errors? Er er I don't remember. I'm just gonna call you Errors for short. The reason I brought him is just because he can hit people out of play. It also works for monsters, too. So it splits them up. I don't think it worked on bosses, though. If I remember correctly. Well, let me, let me check on the wiki. I don't think it works on bosses, from what I know. It shouldn't. But yeah, in the future, Dragon Base is going to be changing a lot. I already heard about the Egyptian, like, exalted allies that you guys were telling me about. I really hope it's all to her the last upgrades or enhancements 
but knowing the devs, they're probably going to go further beyond that. There needs to be an end to like rarity or real soon. You just can't keep going up and up and up. You know, that's just insanity if anything. And sooner or later, people are going to get sick of it. So if you're going to make a le the last one, just make it be godly or godlike or which, whichever. Just It needs to, it needs to calm down, dude. We're going uh, too high, using too much material. Just back and forth war of me smashing my head through the desk. But then again, I'm not sure how many people are going to agree with me on that one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work on bosses, so the normal allies will get knocked out of play. And that's his first skill that knocks people out of play. The second skill just keeps people from resurrecting, but in this case, it doesn't. It doesn't do it inside of here. They resurrect after a time limit. If the boss is kept alive, if you guys are new to the game. Jeez, tower is a lot, a lot easier. I also saw quite a few people up at uh, level 100 already. I want to know, did it help you guys out a lot more for Tower to get, uh, you know, this little nerf? Or... Or what? That, that's what I'm kind of curious about. Okay, I was looking at something. My bad. But yeah, pretty much uh, the patch notes for next week is that tower is resetting. We're getting the Valentine's event. That's pretty much just it. Nothing like off the charts. Pretty much Valentine's Day is going to deal with us uh, getting half off on our burning points. So as we're farming, we're just going to use half the points. So two burning points instead of four. And then, what else? What else was it? We're going to get a, the Griffin pet again, I believe. With the Valentine's, like heart, chocolate, something like that. But yeah, a pet, a Valentine's pet that pretty much increases our XP for Challenger Dungeon by 90%, if I remember correctly. And that's pretty much it. No reason I know this stuff is just because everybody in chat was telling me and I was just like, oh, well, it's already spoiled for me. Might as well look at it now. <laughs> but it was fine. That, that was, oh God, hiccups. But there wasn't really anything important. So, yeah. I think they posted in my Discord, actually. I don't think it was in my Twitch chat. Okay, no, we talked about it in my Twitch chat, but they did post it in Discord first. I think, if anything, we talk about mostly Dragon Blaze in Discord versus other games. Like, not many people come up with like Destiny Child conversations or, you know, post pictures or screenshots of Destiny Child. Most of them just end up talking about Dragon Blaze and talking about their teams and stuff. Or asking questions about their team. I wish I did have some more uh, Destiny Child and other people like the Alchemist Code in my chat. Just chilling, asking questions. Coming up with ideas. Been getting a lot of game suggestions lately too. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it today or anything. Not fully sure. 
Uh, you thought she was going to show me your phoenix and it was just going to kill us? No. Not today, dude. See, this is how I feel tower should be on, like, the first starting areas. Where you're... Like, if you have really powerful exalted allies, they shouldn't be getting one-shotted by tower. Like, when you think about it, they really shouldn't be getting one-shotted by us. Or we shouldn't get one-shotted by them, considering that we've increased our power and these enemies are still somehow one-shotting us. Like, I, I'll be fine if they're, like, doing, like, a small chunk of damage or to half an HP, but these guys would be doing, like, massive amount of damage to where it doesn't matter what your assaulted ally is. They're just like, dude, fuck you. And just completely ends your team. It's insane. Now, this just feels like a revenge run. I just feel like I'm getting a lot of revenge right now. And it is worth it, and it feels good. But not everybody's going to be able to do this. So this is why I still say that tower is going to be in-game material. Because not all new players will be able to do it like right off the bat. They're going to definitely have to raise their team for this. For sure. And I don't know about like... Hmm. What can I say here? I don't know about like teams that are like max. If you have like an ultimate like character and at least two ultimate characters, maybe you'll be able to do it, but I'm not fully sure. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get the Fallen characters, to be honest. The Fallen is altered. Well, pretty much the seven deadly sins, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get them. It's just because there aren't many of them that I like, except for Greed. I kind of like Greed a little bit, just because of his skills and because of his design a little bit. He looks like a gothic steampunk dude. He's out of a bed of flowers, but I need I need a close up of him. I can't I can't really say if that's a better flower. It's just some kind of weird sheen. Ah, oh, look, it's King Graham. Remember the days of fighting you and getting annoyed. Like, you're really annoying with that shield. God, it's funny. If you look at the graphics compared to those enemies we just fought, that was like first Dragon Blaze. To be honest, I'm kind of happy they kept those designs. Just so we could look and see how, how much Dragon Blaze has changed inside of the art style. And plus, get us... And let us keep, like, memories like this. Like, look at that. Because <laughs> Dragon Blaze has been through a lot of changes, a lot of updates, a lot of upgrades, new system changes. Like, if you go to my very first video, you will see how much different Dragon Blaze is now from what it was. And it's, it's just insane. Especially after playing this game for at least, like, hmm. I think I played it for one year before. Then I stopped playing. Now I'm back. And I think I've been playing it for at least a year or two. I think, has it been two years already? If so, then I've been playing for at least three years. Three to two years already. But, yeah, it's... It's insane how time flies, dude. How much a game you played, like, for so long. Upgrades. But it's kind of sad, because I don't know if I'm still the only, like, global content creator. If there are, are any other global Dragon Blaze creators, let me know. Who are actually still making content on Dragon Blaze. Not Morph, because Morph is uh, doing other things now. Not sure if he's playing the Korean one, to be honest. I think Morph is just trying to get everything situated and get everything together. Because he's been wanting to stream on Twitch and stuff like that. Been trying to help him out as much as I can. 
but I think mostly he's still making YouTube content like now and then when he can. He's just not on Dragon Blades. I think it's mostly on PSO, if anything. Is it PSO2? Yeah, PSO2. Wait. Oh, I, I thought there was... I was about to say... Hold on. Why are their names so similar? Am I actually fighting this guy? But but no, I'm not. <laughs> oh boy. I, I thought I was about to be dead. For sure. Their names look so similar. Ah, it's a Nubian. Dude, where is your exalted or transcended? You're a thick AF. And they didn't they didn't continue your thickness. They gave up on the thickness, dude. That was mad messed up of them. I cannot believe they dropped all that thickness. Such BS. Everybody else got a freaking transcended you stayed a DFI. Just just so messed up, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still aiming for uh, Llewellyn for one of my little alter authorization cards. I'm sorry, I'm I'm really like out of it. I just woke up, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, really aiming for, for one of those cards. I haven't summoned yet since like the very first day they came, but. I, I kind of want to slip in a summon, but I'm going to wait for Secret Shop to bring back another one before I do that. I think the only reason this is taking longer is just because Blizz keeps reapplying buffs. Yeah, one of my favorite transcendents just because of her design. I love that umbrella. And the tiger. That's one reason why it was my favorite design. I don't even I can't even get her um uh, authorization card. Instead, I'm stuck with the one healer I've never built <laughs> with her card. Even though she was actually like really good against like uh, insta kills and debuffs, I'm actually working on my um, priest right now since I just finished my archer. The reason I'm working on the priest because priest and archer are the main used characters, and I know why. Archer for DPS. And priest for getting rid of debuffs, you know, way less debuffs, getting stunned and stuff like that. But sometimes there are bosses that kind of counter that for sure. They're just like, oh, dude, I'm still gonna hit past your debuffs and immunity. So really, there's no escaping yet most of the time. This is gonna be a while until we start getting like one shot at or actually taking damage. Until our shields start taking damage, that is. I think my first PvP character that I'm gonna to get to ultimate or max will be this character. If anything, I'm gonna finish the characters that I have now. Get them to ultimate. And probably save off through the Fallen. I'm just not sure if I want any of the Fallen characters, to be honest. Except for Lust. Never mind. I'll, I'll take it back. I want Lust and Wrath. And Greed.
But I think I would only build greed for a magic team, and that's probably it. Since I'm definitely going with more of a physical team until I finish my um, priest. Oh yeah, dude, some stupid news popped up like real lately. I don't normally talk about this stuff in my videos, but it's like extremely stupid. So apparently some moron went back and watched Mary Poppins and branded it as racist for blackface. As a blackface scene of where Mary Poppins coming out of a chimney is blackface just because she has soot on her face. I'm sitting here like, so you got so bored to go back and rewatch an old kid's show just to title it as blackface and racist. I'm sitting here like, I'm pretty sure nobody in the right mind would actually agree with this stupid ass article. Like, oh my god, I wanted to fight somebody just for that. Ah, uh, the world has become too sensitive and too ignorant. Let's say that. Very, very ignorant. Just can't have nice things in this world. That's why I said, dude. Pretty soon, we will not have anything good in the U.S. anymore. Just because of these idiots. Like, the oversensitive idiots we have. That takes every little thing as racist now. 2019, starting off with a bang. Goddamn. I definitely need a character that um, decreases cooldown. That's what I need in my life. I haven't even looked at the actual fallen skills yet. We're gonna look at those when they like come to the game. They'll decide if I actually want to build them or not. I'm definitely building lust either way, so yeah, nobody's gonna stop me on that one. That decision will stand, to be honest. <laughs> that decision will stand. No one will stop me from building my girl Lust. She will literally become the thumbnail of this channel once she is finished. And here. You, you wanna try me? I, I will. Ah, sorry, Gray, Gray Soul. You can't insta kill these guys. It was a nice try. I see you did some damage to the shield, though, for Blizz. So we're starting to get somewhere in the tower where damage is going to start counting. I also need to start... What? What? Okay. I was about to say, what just happened? Please don't, like... Force close or crash or anything. I'm using LD player today, not not um, Nox. So LD player, please. I know you have issues and a lot of them at that. Please don't do anything that I'll have to throw hands with you with. What did we just fight? Uh, I looked away for him <laughs> again.
Ah, it's Nubian. Your thickest form. And now your grave. <laughs> But no, for real. I'm gonna put up a poll actually for Dragon Blaze. Thinking, well, checking to see if people like the new tower nerf or if they don't. I'm gonna put that up later, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll actually remember because that's something I've been curious about. I want nobody's really spoken too much about it, but I know people feel more vote, more like a uh, comfortable voting than they do uh, commenting in my like channel on my channel but yeah i'm gonna put up that poll and see what actually goes through there because i'm actually quite interested i'm gonna actually start doing more polls and uh commenting in the community chat just because it's actually been pretty fun doing that I was kind of curious if they could actually revive each other. I don't think the healers inside of tower can revive each other. From what I know. From what I want to know. Uh, I remember you. You used to be like really annoying. If anything, we're gonna kill ourselves off uh, reflection damage. I don't even think there's a character that counters reflection damage yet. And I also gotta say the new Egyptian character designs, from what people were telling me, then I looked it up. It, they actually look nice. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Egyptian characters along with pirates, but pirate being my first, and Egyptian characters being my second. So I'm looking forward to it. Huh. We normally talk a lot about Dragon Blaze, like now and then. We did talk about Dragon Blaze or Destiny Child inside of my stream. Mostly ended up being Dragon Blaze. I wish there was an actual reason for me to stream Dragon Blaze, but there isn't like streamable Com content unless a new tower comes out and I just do that or PvP I could work too and tag was tag was mm, how do I even feel about tag matches to be honest I didn't really do them because I thought they were kind of like boring in my opinion but that was just me. Oh god, Death Crown. This guy's actually pretty damn strong at Affinity. Oh, I thought somebody from my side died. I was like, wait, hold on, what just happened? <laughs> I, <laughs> I literally thought somebody from my side died. Jesus. I wasn't looking down here, I was just looking directly at the characters. Alright, where's the crocodile that had reflect? Ah, oh, there you are. How much damage is this gonna do? Because I know you saw the reflection. Ah, oh, or not, never mind. Am I just imagining things now? I'm pretty sure that guy had reflection damage. Pretty sure he did. But alright. Okay. No, it's funny. Since I started upgrading the Exalted, all of my gold has basically disappeared. Like, dude, once you start working on these, 
Like your gold is non-existent. And buying gold? Nah. Don't 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 do it. Trust me. You got better things to do in life. Don't 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 buy the gold from shop. Buy it from secret shop. Trust me. You will you will love yourself from buying it from secret shop. For normal shop, don't do it. Because it's, it's not worth it. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. Well then, that was interesting to see. Let's see if uh, Blaze Eater can revive everyone. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Because he does that a lot. Fry literally nukes everything and kills mostly everything. Oh, his revive isn't even up, so he's probably dead. <laughs> well, he's reviving everything now. <laughs> uh, dear God, I was just waiting for it. I knew it was going to come sooner or later. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Till had, um, not Till, uh, what was her name? Fuck, uh, it's been so long, she doesn't really show up anymore. Kamel, yeah. Kamel had reflection damage, I'm pretty sure. Alright, 55 is where we stopped at. I definitely want to raise up, um... Hold up. If I remember correctly, you were actually pretty good. But I definitely want to raise up um, Rock just because um, I feel like he'll actually be good for Tower too. I feel like he could be good for Tower. Just because of the taunt. Maybe. Are we gonna get one shotted? Oh nope. Back to being the one shotters and not the one shot ease. Just a, a small rude awakening thanks to Camille and Fry. Kayla and her DFI. You wish one of these characters had like a buff against tower. Can we add a little bit of tower buff to um, the Paladin since he's buffed to all the other content? <laughs> Uh, that'd be funny. Actually, I don't really see the Paladin used all that often anymore. Because I don't think his shields are stackable. I think slowly over time, shields have become unstackable. I think that was like the major thing. Oh, did we already did do this one? I guess it re-pops up after a while. Nancy. No, oh, the ghost. Forgot about that. I'm sorry, Luella, but you're not really too OP 
Just because you take so long to wrap up damage. That's how she always used to be. I mean, if it were for like really, really long runs, Luella would be like a monster. But if it's on the side of short runs, it's it's definitely she's definitely not too good. Maybe off exalted she could be. Well, not exalted. Um, maybe off affinity. I definitely want to try like so many characters off of affinity. I want to go back and read their skills and see how strong they will be. That's gonna be the fun part. Nikki. And Diddy. And the most annoying tower floors were when they slowed down your cooldown. Because there was there's no way to counter that anymore. Well, we had Ash, but Ash was pretty decent, but not as But cooldown wasn't as strong as um Helios, for sure. Helios would just speed your cooldown way, way fast. Which some of you guys told me that the green version have gotten keys back, but it's mostly for the normal buster suits. Which is kind of odd to me, if anything. Please don't let Kamel or Fry stay on here. I don't need any more after death characters. Oh, there goes uh, Blizz. Pretty sure either the clone or her or his clone. Uh, words. I'm pretty sure his clone or him are going to revive. Probably going to be the clone. Because I don't think the clone's going to die. Warhawk? Oh, that guy. How is that clone not expired? Thank you. <laughs> I was literally just sitting here waiting for the clone to expire so it can res Blizz. Because if you guys are confused at how uh, Blaze Eater works, when it when his clone expires, not die, expires, it res as a character. Oh uh, well, if it ain't good old Kamel again, yay! Now she's just gonna stall. That's literally what Kamel was. A, a freaking stall character. Kamel and both King Graham stalled so damn hard. In the side of a um, tag to where they just made it so unfun. <laughs> just going up against stall teams. Made me want to actually fight somebody. What a poisonous little tree monster you got there. I believe I only made it to floor 99 in this game. But that was like normal buster mode? Or was it, was it buster mode or normal mode? No, it was buster mode that I actually made it to 100. Never mind. That was the only time I ever made it there. Or was it 99? Whichever one had the annoying King Graham at it. So I'm guessing not too far. <laughs> or at least not what I'm thinking. Blizz is back. Somehow has a shield when... Doesn't have a shield out here. Magic. Ah, oh, Raven Girl. I actually really liked her design. And no, not Fry again. God damn it. Oh, we had invisibility on this time.
I forget who gave us that, but that that actually saved us quite a lot. I hate that so much. But he's probably not as strong as he was uh, being the boss, since he was a sub character. Ah, this is another guy who uh, usually killed me. If I remember correctly, that is. If anybody remembers in one of my videos uh, where I last left off before they reset tower, you let me know. I think it was like around floor 69 or floor 70. Not fully sure anymore, to be honest. Uh, there go Gala, but Gala needs time to build up damage, so... Oh, she has Mika. <laughs> I don't think Mika's attacks are going to affect us. Oh, it's not the Transcendent. That's not the Transcendent Mika, so never mind. I take that back. I think I need two or more, two more enhancements for my blazier to become ultimate. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh. Okay. They took a little bit. They took a little bit of more time to kill, for sure. Our one shots are starting to disappear. But yeah, I guess a max is definitely won't yeah definitely won't cut it oh margaret my girl i miss you you know what i might infinity you as soon as you come up just because of how much i miss you margaret man rip the usefulness of margaret I might get her um, altar altar card. Oh well, there's Blaze again. Yeah, I think characters at max just won't cut it. So pretty much any character above like I want to say. 50 billion or trillion, whichever one we're at. I want to say 50 billion are stronger for tower. Because the rest of my characters are pretty built. Liz is probably just looking at me like, dude, why are you letting me do this? Why are you making me do this? Stop forcing me into this tower. <laughs> Alright, so we get 10 out of this. Oh, Falcon, no. Falcon was so annoying. Invisibility. Yep. <laughs> Fuck, he knew it. But the thing is, Tower uh, Falcon was one of the best buffers for Paladin, for sure. Next to um, Helios, that is. Just because he boosted, like, so much for your physical team. Especially melee units. And plus, he saved a lot of lives, too. Mandalandi. I think I mainly used her as a healer. Even though she was mostly made for, like one content I'm trying to remember who it was for was it for the um hmm I want to say it was either for the turtle or or was it for something else it definitely can't be Cerberus right oh it was for Cerberus because she protect buffs that's what it was and I have to deal with this enraged bastard Oh, no, he doesn't get the enrage. Okay. So I guess he's not the built one. <laughs> he's not even the ultimate. Trigger a lot of people liked, but 
I never built her. I just felt like her, um, that one skill that had her charging just made us miss out on so much DPS. That was just me, to be honest. Hellhawk, the most annoying rogue that literally had no cooldowns at all. But was squishy as hell. <laughs> Just using skill after skill, stealing buff after buff. That was it. Oh no. Oh no. Well, actually, we, we, we'll be fine. He can't insta kill us. Or maybe he can kill one person, but he still can't insta kill the whole party. You can't even revive him anymore. I mean, I, I want to say he probably wasn't even helping too much anyway, but still. Ooh, damn. Okay. Maybe he was helping. <laughs> My god damn. This is the furthest we've made it in tower so far. So far. I wanna do this. Let's 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 do this. Maybe this? Let's try that. What are the most recommended? Oh, so she was in there. Huh. Interesting. Mostly just because of her uh, death passive, if anything. I think that was mainly why. I definitely might work on Helsing later on down the road. Maybe. Not fully sure yet. I was to say, where is our damage here, sir? Come on, you're almost there. Ah, wow, she was literally almost there. Well, actually, yeah, I think we're missing damage, actually. So I might change back over to my archer. For this one, we're probably missing damage. Damage increases when... Oh, okay. That explains it. Yeah. That definitely explains it. Okay. That's an issue. So the more we hit, the more damage we re they receive. Ah. And I hate these kind of type of stages, you know. But at least I made it to like at least a good floor to like call the video on on if I had, can't go any further. Oh no, it was our character that was saving us. So I wasn't wrong. Okay, so it was our uh, warrior character that was saving us for sure, just because of the taunt. So I do feel like Rock could actually be pretty good for this. Huh. How neat is that? I just want you guys to know it's like very awkwardly quiet <laughs> for sure without the music. 
like hands down it's pretty damn awkwardly quiet well actually no we're gonna keep it like that hopefully we get lucky and they actually do enough damage to where it actually kills because that's all we're lacking right now is pretty much damage you almost made it the first time that's all we need dude we just need that other run to go a lot better because damage can be random just because our characters use random skills Wow, I don't think we're going to get that lucky run anymore. Just because of the whole damage increase thing. Yeah, since we attack first and basically uh, do all that damage to them, they instantly get like a buff increase. Eek. Oh boy. Just dealing with that is painful. You know what? I always wondered how would the uh, how would the nerf system for um, seven knights work inside of Dragon Blaze? Because so Dragon Blaze would have like this system if you can't beat the tower a certain amount of times. They would um, nerf. They would debuff the um, enemies a little bit. Wow, actually, that could have gone a little bit better. A little bit. Not majorly, though. That was actually pretty close. Probably just need to up my um, warrior, if anything. Yeah, I think it's just my warrior I need to up a little bit. But yeah, in, in Seven Nights, it would literally be if you lose like at least I think like five or ten times, they would decrease the enemy's HP and attack a little bit. I think a little bit of your defense. I think it was like a little bit of all overall stats that they would uh, debuff them with. I wonder how that would work in this game. Nope, the wrong character you should be reviving. That's the thing. Sometimes your character revive like useless people. Like I'm trying to get a uh, Violet to get revived. But no, Blaze feels like it's the right thing to revive Blizz for some reason. I don't get that. Even though this game's always been like really weird with the most common dominator, dominator uh, summons and skill uses. So it's basically RNG just the past stages. Let's just say that. It's, it's straight up RNG. Because it all depends on what your characters use first. Oh, she got the invisibility. But how long would that last though? And my point has been proven. Straight up RNG. <laughs> I, I told you. It's literally just straight up RNG. Because she was actually able to get off her invincibility. High King who? Oh, another dwarf. Oh, from this point on, it's going to be like a hassle. 
This is actually pretty interesting. So this part of the tower is going to be like way, way stronger. So pretty much past, which floor is this? 82, 81. Eighty-two, eighty-one game. Can you pop up numbers, please? Thank you. So, right when you get to eighty-one is where things are gonna start getting troublesome. Okay, noted. I gotta say, it's still interesting to see. Oh, this guy just revived. I was the only one who saw that, right? He just revived. I don't even think there's any reviving ca Oh, nope. There there is. So this guy revived him. Ah, dude. That's going to be so annoying. Not sure if you can cancel the revive of them. Hmm. No, you can. You can, actually. I would just need a um, Helsing inside of her pretty much second win type of skill to where if she dies she just stays immortal that's all I would need but it seems like they kill before then ah oh, wow he revives he revives him and he revives him once he comes back. Oh no, that's what I'm dealing with. I could actually do this, but these two are the most annoying ones. Dear God, help me. <laughs> oh, that's going to be annoying. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, pure RNG, it just really depends on what happens. Uh, but that invincibility is also another thing I cannot have to deal with. And it is not fun to deal with. Oh, she didn't get her invincibility off this time, so pretty much everyone's dead. I hate having these two together. Yeah, you definitely need somebody to counsel their revives. That is for sure. So, going back to what I said, Rock could actually be really good for this. Excuse me. So many burps, so little time. Alright, this is going to be the last one. Then we're just going to wrap it up there. Because I need to probably make a new video soon. I don't think this is going to work out at all. Yeah. The visibility is like way too strong. Clearly there's RNG and I gotta try and get lucky off of it. But these are the most recommended characters that everybody uses. Oh yeah, Rock is up there. Huh? I don't see how that oh, okay, no, there's all they're just just pushing them out. They were they were kinda good in there. But after a while you have to start using these characters. Kinda, hmm. If anything, I would have to replace with Rock, if anything. But I'll be able to do that, like, down the road. Oh yeah, let's go see where everybody is on tower now, to be honest. At least say it's, personally, it's in a lot better state than it was, for sure. Oh, so most people got stopped where I am. So these are the two 
little mascots that are <laughs> breaking everyone right now. So it's, it's good to see that I'm not the only one just failing on this one. Seem like a very small majority are getting up here. 44 people. Nice. But you, you definitely can't say Dragon Blaze is like fully dead or anything just because there's still like this many people still playing. Like, geez. It's just like a rarity to get other people in your guild just because they promote the highest level guilds first. Instead of it just being random. I, I've talked about this before. It, it really needs to be fixed. Like, hold up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That's recommended. To, yeah. They always show the highest level guilds first. They don't care about randomizing it or anything. It's literally by ranking numbers. And all you're going to see is level 60s. You can't go down any further than that. Look at that. If you're thinking it randomized, nope, it goes straight back to the top. It just, you probably like saw, sat there like, dude, it does randomize. It, it doesn't. It's literally just the same people over and over again. Let's say Rage Quit is probably at the bottom. People could change activity. But will that change all that much? Nope. Players actually got to go in here and do that instead. And even with that, they still show the highest guilds. Get out of here. No, oh, I can't even go up anymore. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I can't even go back to the top anymore once you go down. Okay, what what if? But yeah, that needs to be changed. Like, promote more of the newer guilds and the guilds that aren't full <laughs> to the brim. I'm pretty sure these guys... Okay, these guys aren't, like, completely full. But there are more guilds that are like slacking on players oh huh. it's a huh why are you, why are you just sitting alone Did you just kick everybody and just sat there alone weird but anywho we're gonna end it there guys hope you all enjoyed but yeah that's just my little rant on like <laughs> guild it's just weird that they went with that choice instead of just randomizing guilds and just pushing like a putting like a refresh bar um yeah we have a lot of loot to collect here so we're gonna see our overhaul after we collect everything then we're gonna end it there So much loot, so little time. Ah, then I gotta pick these. Hold on, not it, not we're not done yet. We, we still got a lot more jewels to go through, and now we won't be able to see from that point. And I, but I'm pretty sure these are the last ones ah okay i see <laughs> so everything on oh holy crap jeez how much gold do we even get out of that oh not a lot not as much as i was thinking we were gonna get to be honest that is definitely not a lot of gold 
that's gonna be gone within like seconds. I'm just gonna grab all of them for decks. Try to finish out my archer. We're gonna grab that. All right. But yeah, I feel tower is a lot better like that. For sure. Ah, a lot more. There we go. Not sure how much I can get out of that though. How much would that be? Actually, I can get another enhance out of that if I just uh, convert them over. Maybe. Actually, yeah. But we're going to end it there, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the tower video. A, lo a little bit of a longer video because I rarely ever do like a really long Dragon Blaze video. But for those of you guys who enjoy my longer Dragon Blaze videos, here you go. Climbing Tower. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.